Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kathy Sanders. I'm a surf fishing guide in Northeast Florida and I put out helpful videos like these underwater footage videos to help you become a better angler. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Today we have something super exciting. This video is going to be so much fun. I was at Varn Park just this last Sunday, so I'm literally making this video a few days after this all happened. And the first thing we're going to see here, we've got a bunch of fish that we're going to be showing you. As you can see, the water was kind of murky. A little murkier than I thought it would be because from the surface it looked like it might be a bit clean. But we have a deep wash. And this first fish we're going to see here is a Florida Pompano. You can just barely see, I've slowed it down. You can see the underside of it, but we can tell that that's a pompano just from looking at the bottom half of it. And a lot of these pompano that we're gonna see in this video today, you're gonna notice they have a very yellow underbelly. So that shows me they have come out of the river. I've heard other people say that. Now here we've got another pompano. He is biting away at the bait, trying to get it. Swimming away. Check out where he's biting as he comes in. He is actually biting the float. Now the, the hook was turned around the opposite direction. So I think if that was turned the other way, he probably would have gotten hooked. But because that float was, the hook was down on the underside of it, he didn't get hooked up. So now we've reeled it back in. We're casting it back out. And as you can see, there's not very good visibility. And as the bait drops down, I've got a sand flea on there. I've also got a piece of fish bites. And this next fish, I want you to help me out with. Watch as it comes across the screen here, just momentarily. There it goes, really quickly. It's hard to tell exactly what that is. We're gonna slow it down. I think maybe it's a mullet. I'm gonna play that again but the eyes are really close to the front of the face, the tail shape. I'm thinking that's a mullet. Usually mullet don't travel alone. I would have expected to see a lot more. So now we've got a bunch of pompano here and we actually have one hooked up. Look at that, he's hooked up back there. And we have another one in the forefront trying to get the bait. Look at him, he's coming in. He's got this sand flea in his mouth. He's trying to get it in his mouth, but I think what's happening here is because the other one is hooked up and he's doing all those head shakes and everything to try to get loose, you can see he's hooked up back there. And that's not a baby pompano. That is an 11 and a half inch pompano. The one in the front could not, he's still trying to get that bait in his mouth, but it's shaking back and forth so much that he can't get <laughs> He can't get his mouth around it. So he keeps trying and missing and trying and missing and eventually he just gives up. He's like, this is too hard. And now I'm reeling in this fish, which is super cool. And I'm speeding up while we're reeling because it, it actually took a little bit for me to get to the pole and then to reel it in. So I'm gonna speed that up so we're not boring you with all of that. But here I have pulled that fish in and that was a keeper pompano, 11 and a half inches. Came home for dinner and it was really yummy. So now we're throwing it back out because pompano swim in schools. So I wanted to get it back out as soon as I could to see if we could hook up on yet another pompano. And we've got an Atlantic bumper here. He's kind of circling around the bait. He's taking a look. There might be a couple of them there. It looks like there might be two. And we'll slow it down there. You can see that little black spot in front of his tail and a bright yellow tail. We know that's an Atlantic bumper. And what you're about to see next is the thing that made this whole trip and my whole week, really. This is so cool. Take a look to the right and we're gonna see this redfish come in on the scene. Here it comes. There it is, a redfish. And he didn't waste any time. I'm gonna slow this down, but you'll see he just came right in, snatched that bait, got hooked immediately. And I saw my rod going off. It was from the shore. I'm gonna be working on this video next. 
uh, for the next adventure video. It was so much fun reeling that redfish in off the beach. I was actually shocked and super excited. It was, it was honestly so cool. And you can see that signature dot right in front of the tail. He's, he's slapping the camera with his tail. This made me think, it made me wonder like, okay, when I get a really big fish on here, could they possibly do damage to this camera? Like, cause look at, he, he's coming right in, right next to that camera, slapping it with his tail. We get, we get the paintbrush all across the camera, which is so cool. So now we're reeling it in. We're gonna bring it in. You'll see it takes a little bit to get it through the wash. And I was backing up. I was backing up really far because I really didn't want to lose this fish in the wash. And see, this is this is all the wash and just trying to get it through those waves. We had pretty violent waves at Varn Park right there at the front. So now we've pulled them up onto the sand, onto the beach. And you're gonna see I've got my measuring. I measured him twice because I wanted to make sure that he was keeper size and he was 18 and a half inches. So he came home for dinner too and he was excellent table fare. So now we have rebaited. We're getting ready to throw this back out again. And if you noticed, both the pompano and the redfish on this go fish cam was caught with our float hooks. Now I'm using our the hooks that we use with the floats on them and I attach them to my go fish cam rig. Here's the next fish. Look to the right here. We've got a Gulf Kingfish, otherwise known as a whiting. We're gonna slow that down. Look, he comes right in. He's looking at the bait. He's looking. He just swims right by. So I don't know what he was looking for, but we didn't have what he wanted. Next up, take a look at the top of the screen. We're gonna have a whole school of mullet coming through. Not as many as we saw in New Smyrna, but we are only seeing them over the top of the camera. And they swim right past this bait, not paying any attention to it at all. They are on a mission. And next up, we have a crab that's gonna kinda of jump right into the picture here as the sand goes past. Boom, there he is and he's a little too far away to tell if he's a blue crab or a speckled crab, but we've got both of them in this video. And then he just leaves, which is kind of weird because he leaves all the bait, which none of the other crabs do. So I'm not sure what he was doing. So we got next up, we have another whiting that comes into the picture here, comes right across. We're gonna slow this down so we can see what he's actually doing because it's so quick. He sweeps right in and he turns around, looks at the bait, and then he takes right off. So I guess we still don't have what he was looking for. And here comes Mr. Blue Crab. This is our first time seeing a blue crab. Look at that color on that. We're gonna see him even better here in just a minute. He's gonna back himself right up pretty much into the camera. And these crabs are pretty aggressive. I would say even the, the speckled crab, this blue crab, they don't waste any time grabbing the bait. Uh, seems like they've probably seen a lot of bait out there before and they're getting pretty good at taking it off our hooks. So I'm gonna speed this up because he stays with that bait for several minutes, making sure that he gets it off of my hook as much as possible. and. <laughs> He stays on it for a few minutes, so I wanted to make sure I didn't bore you for a while with all of these crab antics. And as he's done, you can see all that is left is the float. And that float's pretty beat up too, but he stripped it of the fish bites and from the sand flea, so there's nothing left but the float. Now I'm gonna need your help on this next one. Look at the top of the screen. I can't figure out if that's a fish that swam by really close to the camera or if it's a very big fish with fins hanging down. So if you have an idea of what that might be, there's still another fin going by right now. But leave it in the comments if you have any idea of what that could have been swimming right past the camera just now. Next up, we have a little Gulf Kingfish that comes in the side of the screen here. 
He's going to come right in from the side, takes a look at that float, slowed it down here. He's like eyeing it. Maybe he sees there's no bait on there and he decides, no, nope, it's not what I want. And next we have an Atlantic bumper that you probably didn't even see that. It was coming in as I was reeling it in. We could see that as it was passing. So now we have rebaited. We've got a fresh piece of fish bites, a fresh sand flea on there because that crab had completely stripped everything off. And we've got fresh new bait. And now we get into another crab who once again is going to take this bait right off the hook. Here's a speckled crab. And we have seen these in past videos, a lot of them. Most of them has been speckled crabs, but uh, we, we can't really see the speckles just yet. But as he comes closer to the camera, but look at him, look at how aggressively he is <laughs> eating away that sand flea. There's our speckled crab picture, and you can see top of his shell. That is a speckled crab. And keep watching because we get some interesting interaction here between this crab and a pompano who really wants that bait. He keeps swimming around. He's coming right up to the crab, and as you'll see in just a second, this crab almost starts looking like he's going to get defensive. Watch him right here. And then he rips this sand flea in half. Look at him right here. Ripped it in half, and now he lets go. It's like he's saying, okay, I'm going to take my part. I'm going to give you your half. Maybe he's making a deal with that pompano. You leave me alone, and I'll let you have something to eat. And here comes that pompano, and he bites it right away, gets hooked up. Look at that beautiful yellow color on his belly. We can tell that these are probably pompano from the river, from what I've heard recently. These really bright yellow ones, the bright yellow on the belly, are coming out of the rivers. So probably following the mullet as the mullet are starting to run in the surf. And look at him. He's hooked up. He is shaking his head. He is all over the place. And there's more than one pompano there. You can see in the background there's at least one more. So there's a good chance that we could have gotten doubled up if that pompano wasn't doing so many head shakes like we saw earlier. They're shaking their head and it's not letting the other pompano get hooked up. But now I'm reeling him in. So he's coming up through the water. He's going to be coming up through the wash. You'll see me pulling him up on the beach. And that was, I think, pompano number three or four that I caught that day. I had caught a few on the other line and just the one keeper. So now next fish, we have got another Atlantic bumper coming in. It's kind of hard to see because he's just kind of swimming, circling around the bait. We see him a couple times coming in, but not too clearly, but we can tell it was an Atlantic bumper from the shape of his body. So now we're coming down to the last couple of fish in this video. And this was such a fun day fishing. Actually, I'd been really stressed out and this fishing trip really helped lift my spirits. Just being able to catch that redfish really, really made, really made my week, actually. Now we're gonna see some pompano swimming around here. Look how quickly they're coming in and out, darting around and swimming around, looking at the bait, checking things out. I didn't bother slowing these down because there wasn't any hookups, there wasn't anything like that. We can tell they're pompano by looking at them. I had one other pompano that I hooked up on after the camera died. Now check this out. I almost missed this. Here we have a stingray coming right over the top of the camera. It could be an Atlantic, it might be a different one. If you have any idea if it's a different one, let me know in the comments. But I almost missed that because I didn't see it on the first pass, but then when I went back through and scanned it, as I was creating the video, I saw that stingray and I thought, oh, can't miss that one. Super cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And if you haven't looked yet, go ahead and check out our online store. We've got our float rigs. We've got our pompano rigs. We've got earrings. We've got t-shirts and other goodies there. Check that out. And as always, 
tight lines. God bless, and we'll see you.